Hello and welcome back. This is Rafi once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Shopify store with Google Search Console and then how to add your website sitemap into the Google Search Console for better SEO visibility. So without further ado, let me walk you through the step-by-step -step process. So first of all, I'm going to take you to a new tab here and then I'm going to make a search for Google Search Console and then we're going to visit the first result here, Google Search Console. And then we're going to go to click on Start Now. And then the first step is to verify our domain ownership. So we have got two options to do that. One is to make changes on the domain control panel. And the other one is to make changes on the website backend. So the first step is let me show you the both of the ways. So if you want, you can go through uh, whatever you want. Yeah, right. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply copy my website name from here. I mean, domain name from here, paste it right here. Let's remove these um, HTTP and forward slashes and then click on continue. And after that, it is going to show us this option, select record type text which is recommended, but we have got CNAME record as well. We can go either way. And after that, we have to sign into our domain control panel and then we have to copy this text record, I mean, um, text data. So I'm gonna click on copy. And after that, what we have to do is we have to go to our domain control panel, which I have got with Namecheap. So under advanced DNS, simply have to scroll a bit down and then we're gonna find this add new record option under host records. So I'm gonna click on add new record. And after that, I can go with CNAME record if I have chosen CNAME there, or I can simply go here and click on text record, and then I can paste the value right here, and then click on this tick mark to save the changes. Now, the problem with this setting is, it might gonna take from 30 minutes to up to 24 hours to propagate the settings. So I avoid these settings, but it's safe to do so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you back here and let's go, um, let's click on verify letter. And then I'm gonna use this option URL prefix, which is the easiest way and the fastest way. So again, I'm gonna place, uh, paste my website domain from here. So I'm gonna copy my website domain and paste it right here. Let's click on continue. And after that, we are gonna get some codes here we go, the HTML file. So I'm not gonna go with HTML, I'm gonna go with HTML tag. So let's click on HTML tag. And after that, if you just have a look here, we have to place our code, this one, inside the head tag and before the body tag, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply copy this code. And after that, I'm gonna take you to our Shopify backend and then click on themes from online store, click on themes. And after that, make sure to take a backup. So simply click here and click on duplicate in case if you make anything wrong with your coding and stuff, then you can simply publish the previous version, right? So I've got the backup already done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here on these three dots and then I'm gonna click on edit code. And after that, it is gonna populate the data here. Here we go. After that, you're gonna find these, um, let's say files like this. So I'm gonna click here and then I'm gonna to go to layouts option and the file I'm looking for is theme liquid. So I'm gonna click on it. And after that, the editor will be open up. So here is the head tag. So the best place to put any code, any external code is the end before the end tag of the head section or whatever tag you are working on. So if I if I place this code right here, it is gonna work as well. So here you go. This is the ending of the head code. As you can see, this is the starting and this is the ending. So I'm simply going to paste the code that I copied earlier, which is here, as you can see. And then I simply have to click on save. And let's click on close saved. And after that, I have to go back here on our Google Search Console page, and then I'm gonna click on Verify option right here. So let's click on Verify. And here we go, Ownership Verified. So we are done with the verification, Ownership Verification. Let's go to the property. So as you can see here, the indexing and many other options you are getting. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take you to Sitemaps. And after that, I'm gonna put my website sitemap URL right here. So if you go here and then make a forward slash and then type out sitemap 
dot xml just to verify if it is the right url here we go it is populating our products page as you can see products pages collections blogs everything under this url so i'm going to copy this url from here so basically i need only this part right so i'm going to copy this part and then let's go back here and paste it right here and let's click on submit and sitemap submitted successfully let's click on dismiss and you can see this uh, couldn't fetch so it might gonna take a few minutes to get it fetched so if i reload this here we go the sitemap has been successfully fast so this is it now whatever changes we're gonna make on our website if i add any new product if we um, add any new blog post or customize anything on this website google search console will fetch the data from our sitemap and then it will be visible on, on google search pages as well so this was it for this tutorial if you have got any confusion any question please feel free to let me know by commenting below and i believe you found this video straightforward and helpful easy to follow if you did please give this video a like let me know your opinion and subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos like this one i have to see you in my next videos thank you so much for watching have a good one